Hey guys, welcome to a very special edition of Eric Mealtime. I'm Eric Surf 6, I'm your host, and we're at this sort of, it's a pop-up restaurant. They do takoyaki, which is octopus balls. It's right here at the train station. And we have arrived at happy hour. <laughs> It's a stand-up place only, right? I'm standing up, I'm not sitting down. Okay, this is a highball, okay? And the highball, it's basically a whiskey soda. It's two, less than two dollars, a dollar eighty. It's amazing. How do I know if it's amazing if I haven't even tried it yet? It's amazing, no sugar. Yeah, whiskey and soda. It's 4.10 in the afternoon. And I mean, I was just on my way home and I stopped into this place, so I just thought, I gotta do this. This is a video I gotta do. Okay, so $1.80 spent so far. Incoming the taco yaki. Okay, so these are, careful not to spill it. These are octopus balls. And Gintao, this is the number one chain for doing takoyaki in the Kanto area. Now, if you go down to Osaka, you get better ones, but. It's on the level. It's definitely on the level. They gave me spicy mayonnaise. Spicy mayonnaise to put on top of these to dress these with. Which I've never heard of spicy mayonnaise. So we'll do that for sure. For sure, for sure. I'm gonna put the spicy mayonnaise. On top, and it's interesting. The clientele is interesting here. It's the, there's some young people, and there's some older people. Nobody in a suit because it's a weekday, and it, everybody's at work still, right? They, the, the workers come in here maybe six, seven at night. They don't get the happy hour. <laughs> they don't get to be happy. <laughs> in Osaka, they use toothpicks. But in the Kanto, the Tokyo area, chopsticks, which <laughs> chopsticks is much better, so much more control over handling the ball, if you know what I mean. Okay, here we go. I'm going in for a first bite. Now I have let these cool about 15 minutes, which is a good strategy, because if you eat these right when they come off the grill, forget it, you're screwed. I mean, your mouth's gonna be on fire. All right, here goes. Oh. There's just something about these. They've got the bonita flakes. They've got the noti seaweed. The mayonnaise. It's not particularly spicy. Oh. They're full of flavor. And the sauce is very tangy. Oh my. Mmm. I need to get me an Instagram photo of these bad boys. Excuse me for a second. I've been totally nuts on Instagram recently. I've given up my Snapchat. I mean, I worked really hard at Snapchat for like two years. I got you know, three, 4,000 followers. And then passively, I started doing Instagram. And you know, I've got 10, 12,000 followers. So what am I supposed to do? Facebook wins, right? They own Instagram, I get it. So follow me on Instagram. At Eric Surf 6, if you're interested, I do my best to make these videos. Ready and recording in three, two, one. Recording. Yo, 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 Instagram. This right here is Taco Yaki. This is my camera setup right here. It's a Canon EOS M6. That's right, that's what I got going. And that's a road mic, rogue road mic. You can see the atmosphere here. It's pretty cool. I mean, I don't mean to like film the people, but this is their backs. The clientele is cool. I'm gonna eat one of these, and I'm gonna have a highball. Here goes nothing. We're 33 seconds in. We gotta kill this in 45 seconds. Ready? In the mouth. Mm. Oh. Okay. Extend five seconds for the drink. Ready? Oh my gosh. Happy hour perfection. Oh, amazing. 
And that's how you do it. That's an Instagram. It's 50 seconds. That was a bit long, but I'm still happy. Okay, so that wasn't enough food. The takoyaki, it's not enough. Here I am at my local supermarket, and this is special because they just reopened. They were closed for like a week, and they did a remodeling, and I'm very curious to see like what's going on inside here, so. You need a basket. Mm-hmm. It's cold in here. I got the air conditioning on. I need bananas for sure. I don't know which ones to get. Let's go small. Those will be bruised. Okay, that's good. Wow. Cherries for five bucks. A pack for a tiny pack like that? No. Too small. Grapes for... That's $10. That, that's all you get? What's happening to my local supermarket? No, no. Oh, these are good. Jazz apples. $3.50 for jazz apple. These guys are the bomb. They're from New Zealand. They're good. This place has totally changed. Asparagus. That's a good price for asparagus. No. That's not good. It's um it's too soft. Get the harder ones. You gotta go you gotta go all the way to the top. To the mirror. Man on the mirror. That's where you gotta go. Whoa. What happened to this place? Hmm. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying I don't like. <laughs> they got a whole wine <laughs> display. Oh my God. Okay. <sighs> Frontier, I think that's pretty good wine. The liquor section just like doubled in size. Hello. Again, I need it like a hole in the head. I'm not getting any liquor tonight. Maybe just one. Let's get some Heartland. Heartland beer. That's that's pretty soft. One of those. That's all I'm getting. I mean, this looks like a whole different kind of place. Where do I even find what I usually buy? Oh, here's ice cream. I'm pretty happy. Okay, this is the uh, this is the section I usually go for. It's the ready foods. Albeit I'm late tonight, there's not much left, but there's like nothing left. I mean, here, here's like one, two, three, four, five gyoza for a dollar. You can't beat that. Only that. Okay, I think I'm done. I'll come back and make another future video of this place. And I've never shown you really my supermarket before, but the video of the reconstruction made me make this video. So I just wanted to show you my local supermarket in Japan. It's called Tamaya. All right, so finishing up the gyoza. Let's finish this gyoza up. Last three gyozas, and then we're gonna give it a rating. They stuck together? No, they're not. Hmm. Oh. I don't know, what is it? Like, Japanese gyoza is it's in a class all by itself, right? I mean, even though it's it tip, it's traditionally chap, Japanese. It's traditionally Chinese. You put it in the show you, and you mix it with ramen. And it's very Japanese. Oh. I mean, they're dumplings, all right? But, mm, absolutely amazing. <clears throat> so, it's time to rate this mini meal. I don't know how long it is now, but we did the takoyaki, which was killer. And we did the gyoza, which was also killer. The Heartland beer. I'm gonna give this this food experience. I mean, 
half of it was at home. I love eating at home. Like a side note, when you, if you go to the supermarkets at night in Japan, everything gets marked down. Especially if it's if it's a slow night, if it's raining or something like that, the weather's not good. You're gonna get bargains, huge bargains, because they just they just can't sell the food. Like you can buy like sashimi, like chutoro, which is fatty tuna for like two dollars, like two two bucks. And and that's just not all. I mean, they're like so many things get like discounted because if they don't sell it, it doesn't keep till the next day. And Japan's like legit like that. They don't try to cheat and sell stuff to you the next day. When do they start discounting stuff? I mean, it kind of depends. If it's a really nice weather night, then people are out late. But if it's a crappy night, which like during rainy season, like right now, I mean, people just go home. But generally, between six and eight o'clock at night, stuff is being discounted in supermarkets, ready to eat foods. And that's when you can just swoop in there and get like super, super bargains. I teach university and I come from, I come home at like five, five thirty, and that, that's the first place I go. It's the supermarket, right? And I just check and see what's going on. If there's not anything good, then you know perhaps I go to a restaurant or I'll just suck up to it and pay the price. I like to eat at supermarkets because the the variety of foods is is I mean it's everything, right? And anything seasonal like fruits, vegetables, it'll be there. So rather than eat at fast food places or restaurants, I tend to lean to the way, the side of supermarkets, supermarkets, what do you call them? Grocery stores, Whole Foods, whatever it is in your country, but that that's what I like to do. Okay, I'm going to rate this meal right now. Supermarket food in Japan. I mean, that's essentially what this was. And then the train station food, the takoyaki, octopus, balls, that's essentially the same thing. It's ready to eat foods, right? It's quick. It's easy. I like that place a lot. I'm going to go back there. I got to go six out of six. Six stars. Six, no, 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 out of six for this makeshift meal. I mean, it's kind of a weird one. Usually I plan these things out and it's just like one restaurant or one place, but... In this case, it was I was traveling, and then I felt like it wasn't enough of a video, so like I'm going to combine it with this and that and the other, and beer always helps. So anyway, I'm giving away three of the <laughs> get some snack packs, and the link is right up here to what's inside the snack pack, okay? You can see somebody unboxing one of my recent snack packs, and the only thing you have to do is comment down below on my video. Okay, so right down here, leave a comment. You will automatically be entered. Not a winner, but automatically, automatically entered to become a chance at winning. That's how it works. Okay. Do you guys want to see the snack pack? I, I have a new batch. I don't usually like show off what's inside these things. And they're not finished yet. There'll be, there'll be a sticker that goes on here. It's just, you're like, this will go here. It'll be, like, stuck on here, and we'll say get some snack pack. Okay? That goes on there. And then this is the stuff. Oh, God, this smells heavenly. So it's cookies, crackers, snacks, potato chips. It's all kinds of goodies that I pack in here myself. And there's even, I mean, before it finishes, there's more to it than that. I put my own personal message, letter. It's a color copy thing, and I put in my, got my pencil trick, and I'm going to show you one of the samples that's, that's in here, okay? Oh, yeah. I, I should not be doing this because, like, somebody's not going to get these. Somebody's not going to get some. Okay, these are Takenoko. Gadi? Takenoko Machi? Takenoko Yama? These are amazing. They're like little cookie cracker no cookie chocolate snacks oh no. the cookie part is still soft and the chocolate is just magnificent magnificent 
Okay. This is bad. It's turning into a get some snack pack. Okay, look. It's a cookie. But it's one of Japan's best, best cookies. It's cocoa. Cocoa flavor. Ah. Um. Mm. Okay, one more item, and then that's it. We're going to end this video. Pretz. The ultimate otsumami, which is drinking snack. These things are amazing. Okay, they're basically like sticks. Pretzel sticks. Pretzel sticks. Mm hmm. Oh. Um. They're buttery. Hmm. Oh. Soft, but yet crunchy. Mm. Oh. These heartland. Mm. What a fabulous meal. Shall we go deeper? <clears throat> Shall we go deeper into the back? I feel bad because like, I'm not going to be able to send this to anybody. And, uh, well, I'll fill it out again. Okay, let's go a little bit deeper. Just a little bit. Since I'm drinking beer, we're looking for something in the snack pack that is salty snack type of genre. Not sweets, no. Oh, look at it, what is this? <clears throat> oh my gosh. That's too much, we're not gonna open that. Let's open this one. This is actually my son's favorite otsumami. Well, he doesn't drink, but this is my son's favorite potato chip, okay? Japanese potato chips have like a wide variety of consistency and shape and size, taste, flavor. Okay, and this is called Karamuchi. Okay, it's actually Spanish. Karamuchi. So they're, they're in stick form. Okay, like that. And these things are spicy. Spicy. I shouldn't be eating so many. But what? Ara. Mmm. Oh. Immediately he goes for more. And more. Ooh. Oh, I love these. I absolutely love these. If I was to compare these to some, like, American kind of snack. <sighs> Doritos a little bit? No. Maybe the flavoring is Doritos. Mm. Oh. These are so good. And you got to taste that. Or something. Katamuchi. Not Japanese, this is Spanish. Spanish snack. Mm hmm. Thus, the spice. All right? Katamuchi. Oh, there's still more stuff in here. Okay, one more, and then we're going to be done. Because, like, I can't do a whole review of the Get Some Snack Pack. Because that's what you guys do. Like, whenever I send these things out, I always ask you guys to make 
an unboxing video and showing off the stuff. So, that's your responsibility. So you receive one of these as a gift. I mean, let most people blow it off, but like if you do it, it's like totally cool. I like so much appreciate promoting because when you make a video, like showing off the stuff and to get some snack pack, that means that okay, this is deep. What it really means is that it keeps the demand level high for the get some snack packs when they see somebody unboxing one because I do not sell them. So when somebody unboxes one of these and people see it, they're like, oh my God, they won, they, they won that. I gotta win this. I'll try to buy it, but I can't. I'm not trying to be a dork. Like I do wanna sell these, but the problem is like, there's a date caught on every one of these little things. Like this is only good for like a month. This is only good for a month and a half. See, it's, it's hard to sell them. I can't sell spoiled stuff. And then J Japan post office is expensive. So there's logistical stuff here. I mean, I could do it if I really, really tried hard, but I think it's really cooler if I just give them away. I don't charge you guys anything. I ship it free. Just comment on my videos and eventually you will win. I mean, everybody that comments on my videos eventually wins and gets some snack bag. That's how it works. Everybody. I mean, it might take you a year, two years, three years. But I've had multiple winners, like people that have like won three times in a row. So, and most of my, like the way I decide is mostly random. But you, you don't need to have, but you should have like at least one video posted on your page. So I can see who you are. Okay, is that asking too much? It's YouTube. Post at least one video. And, 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 and. Sorry to raise my voice, but. Don't use like one of those canned icons of your fit. I mean, don't use the letter. Upload a photo of yourself. If I see a photo of you, then I feel like I know who you are and I feel like I want to reward you with the get some snack pack. I, even if it's your cat, I, I don't care. It doesn't have to be your face, but upload something other than an A, B, C, D, right? <sighs> I digress. This is Black Thunder. Hello. This is the best chocolate in Japan. I give these away to my students, but they have to compete for them. Whenever like I hold up the Black Thunder candy bar, I have their total attention because this is this is the bomb, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to thank you for watching, and. Make sure you leave a comment down below to enter the giveaway. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments. Give the video a thumbs up, thumbs down, it doesn't really matter. But you guys matter to me. You guys are what makes this channel continue. So thank you for that. And how are we going to finish this? We're going to drink a beer? No, we're going to just dab. What's up, what's up, wasabi? Hey, congrats on making it all the way to the end screen. Care to hang around a bit more? Click on some of the links on the screen and watch a few more videos. Cheers and beers. Who's thirsty?